to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time. What the hell are you doing up there? 
We need to get off this ship. Now! I have to see with the Force and my eyes. I saw a graveyard world, surrounded by a fleet of dead ships. I felt it through him, as I feel it through you. You are my master now, and I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end. Andrus, are you all right? Get away from me. I don't need your help. Just leave me here. Candorus, the Force lies in all living things. I have watched my people die. You will survive. You have no choice. You have been wounded before and lived, Mandalorian. Rise. Many battles do you still have left in you. You sound like Revan. She told me, as I lay dying on the Outer Rim, <laughs> that the Mandalorian Wars were our doom, and that we had been deceived, that it had never been our decision to wage war on the Republic. Revan said the Mandalorians didn't invade the Republic space ten years ago because it was our choice. We were tricked. Our entire people sacrificed as pawns, and never knew it. She said there was a war coming. That it was waiting out in the unknown regions, in the dark, waiting for us to destroy each other. A war? This war? No, not this one. Another one. More terrible. Against an evil we couldn't begin to comprehend. A war of belief that had been fought for thousands of years. Revan went off to fight it. And left you here. Revan was one of the greatest military leaders in the galaxy. In history. She had no use for people who had already been beaten once. She said the time of the Mandalorians was over. The Mandalorian Wars had killed us. And she laughed. And that is what burns in your heart. And that is why Clan Order was reborn. To prove Revan wrong. No, not Revan. Revan. <laughs> 